Hello, I'm going to talk to you about emergency kit for you. Welcome back. This is Carlo with Biggest Little Adventures, a website and YouTube channel dedicated to the adventure uh, motorcycling lifestyle. Today I'm going to talk about a toolkit for you. All right. So a lot of us carry tire patch kits in case we run over a nail or whatever. We carry some tools for some roadside repairs because uh, we're worried if something happens to our bike. But a lot of us do not think about what if something happens to the rider, which is the more expensive piece of gear, okay? Um, that's why you need to carry a first aid kit. Now this first aid kit is a base uh, BMW first aid kit that I was sort of an incentive uh, that I, I sweetened the deal when I bought my first um, 2011 GS uh, Adventure. Uh, so I didn't really pay for this or I did, just depends on how you look at it, but it was a good starting point. I've added to it and I want to talk to you about some of the things that I've added to it. Uh, the inspiration for this video came from Christmas dinner. One of my nieces, uh, turns out she has a food allergy to, we think, peanuts and her tongue started swelling up, her face got red. She didn't go into full anaphylactic shock, but uh, I was worried about her, her breathing starting to get restrictive because she was swelling up. Uh, I told people to go grab some Benadryl, but there was no Benadryl in the house. My aunt had just thrown it out because of the, the government expiration date. So <clears throat> we had to send someone to a store. Um, if it was more serious, um, we would have had to call an ambulance. But the fact is, is if I had rode my motorcycle there, I would have had Benadryl for her. And uh, we gave her two pills and within 10, 15 minutes she was doing much better and ended up going out with her friends that night. So simple things like that is, are things that you don't think of um, when you think of first aid kits. Uh, pain relievers, okay? Uh, Tylenol is a good pain reliever fever reducer, so I'd recommend carrying Tylenol. Ibuprofen is a good anti-inflammatory. Uh, it's a pain reliever in the sense that it reduces inflammation causing pain. Uh, the thing with ibuprofen is you have to sort of build it up in your system. It doesn't kick in as, as fast. Uh, Aleve or naproxen sodium is another good one. I would caution you to stay away from aspirin because it's, it's also a blood thinner. And uh, people that are on two wheels that might slide and, and, and uh, cause bleeding, having blood thinners isn't the best idea. Um, so one of the things, and this might just be from my military background, is I like to carry uh, hemorrhagic control bandages, dressings. I don't know if the camera will focus in on that or not, um, but it's a emergency bandage. And so basically it's a pressure dressing that uh, let's say you're riding through the woods and a stick pierces your forearm or bicep or something like that. Uh, you know, you pull it out and it starts bleeding. This has blood clotting agents basically and a pressure dressing so you could, you know, ride to the nearest uh, treatment center. Um, this is the same thing um, and it could just be placed on, you know, different spots. Let's say you cut yourself open or something like that. Um, it, will, it will stop the bleeding until you can get to the uh, doctors. So I carried a few different sizes of uh, hemorrhagic dressing. It works wonders. It's battle tested. We used it a lot in the battle of Fallujah. So, um, other thing is hand warmers, different heat patches. So, um, these are basically the same thing as those oxygen absorbers that you find in your food, um, but they haven't been activated yet. So, basically, they have an exothermic reaction when it's exposed to oxygen just means they give off heat uh, slowly. So having these, if I would have had these today when I was trying to create that windy video that you'll never see because it got ruined, um, my fingers froze and I, I couldn't feel anything. I couldn't, it was hard to ride home because I couldn't feel the levers. I wasn't sure if I, I was braking or the clutch was in. So it was an interesting ride home. So hand warmers, a great thing to have, okay? Uh, a pencil, <coughs> let's say you get lost Pencil is good to have. You could sharpen it with the knife that you should always carry. Um, and it doesn't smear um, like, like ink does. And it doesn't freeze up in the cold like some gel type pens. A uh, little sunblock 
uh, you know, sometimes you might get stuck in the sun right now in the desert or whatever. And uh, just a little package of sunblock so you don't have to carry a whole tube is good. Uh, like Dayquil type uh, cold cold medicine. If you're if you're out on a long ride, <coughs> if you still got a ways to go, or you're out camping, you know, and you start getting a cold, um, the worst thing is just to just be miserable and having a few, um, you know, 24 hours worth of cold medicine to to help you uh, get by is well worth it. Um, Condoms, because you never know, and they're also good for collecting water. Just don't get the lubricated type uh, that, that flavors it. Um, a good pair of medical shears uh, for cutting off any type of uh, clothing from an injured rider. Um, those are good. Uh, I also threw in a little bag of Imodium, okay? Because the worst thing is, let's say you're motorcycle camping and drinking out of stream and, and you get the trots. Uh, that's that's no good, especially if you're in motorcycle pants and you know you're riding and all of a sudden nature calls. So you know those are some of the things I added. Another important thing um, for me is I have allergy pills because uh, I am allergic to, to to tree pollen and grass pollen. So um, allergy pills is something if I forget or I run out, I always know it's my first aid kit. Another important thing the other day. That I forgot I had my first aid kit and I wish I would have remembered is just simple saline solution. Uh, eye drops would be fine too um, if you have them for your contacts or like me I have some allergy eye drops. Um, but I was riding I flipped up my visor to do whatever and a little gnat went into my eyeball <clears throat> and you know I'm trying to not crash for a gnat and but it's in my eye and it's irritating so I have to pull over once I find a safe spot get the gnat out little pieces of the gnat were still in there scraping me uh, and if I would just had something to rinse it out I would have been fine but instead I sort of had to ride with one eye death perception on, on the way home so um, I wish I would have remembered uh, that uh, so a simple ace bandage uh, is good if you you know hurt your wrist or something like that you laid it on the bike and you always want to brace with your hand um, which isn't the best idea so that's good a cheap Poncho. It's not very durable, but if you're stuck in the rain and you're stationary and you're miserable changing on a tire or something like that, having a rain poncho uh, is invaluable. They don't take up a lot of room and they're cheap. Same thing with emergency blankets. Just a simple uh, emergency blanket. They they work wonders, especially when if you stick it inside a sleeping bag, especially if your sleeping bag got sleeping bag got wet or something like that. That emergency blanket next to your body reflects that body heat back into you and it it increases your comfort level another 10 degrees. Uh, so if your sleeping bag's rated to 40 and it's 30, you're going to be with a space blanket, you're going to be able to sleep comfortably or at least more comfortably. Um, the other things are just doodads. The, the one thing that people um, often throw out or, or don't replace as they use and first aid kits are simple band-aids and you know the iodine and uh, bacitracin type type deals neosporin whatever you want to call it uh, and these are important because simple cuts you could get infections um, now granted most likely you're not going to be away from home but if you're on a long road trip or something like that keeping that wound you know cleaning that wound initially um, <clears throat> whether you, you you cut your hand open trying to work on the bike or whatever um, keeping that cleaning that wound out initially and then keeping all the bacteria and 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 gunk out of it after you've cleaned it is important because you don't want to get a simple cut infected and now you, you're, you're you're losing a finger because of gangrene or whatever um, or <clears throat> it's affecting your immune system because you know you have a bacterial infection now and it's starting to spread and you get a fever and all that kind of stuff that could have just been handled with a simple band-aid the other thing I like to carry is just simple athletic tape you know that white athletic tape uh, uh, I usually have that in my bike somewhere else uh, not in my first aid kit because it takes up you know a lot of room but it could be used for a lot of things um, it's sort of like uh, in a quick fix it could be used as electrical tape or duct tape um, granted I wouldn't want to use it on live circus circuits because um, it 
it's cotton and flammable, but uh, you know, you could make makeshift band-aids out of that. If you, if you break a finger, you could tape it to a, a good finger, um, etc. You could tape it over your gloves. Um, you could make a poor man's band-aid with some Kleenex or a clean paper towel, you know, over the wound and then um, some athletic tape. So those are some of the things that I like to add to the first aid kit because a lot of them will come with like two aspirin or something like that. So I put, you know, more in there and then uh, medicine important to me. So hopefully that helps and it will provide you a little bit of insurance buffer because there's no sense uh, carrying tools and tire patch kits for your bike when the rider goes down. Once again, happy holidays and I'll see you next year. Thanks again for tuning in to The Biggest Little Adventures.